in and get comfortable. Come on in. Come on. It's been a long time coming, child. How long has it been? About two years? Welcome back. Welcome back. And I'm saying welcome back because I'm assuming that you done seen a book discussion from me before with Ashley and Jaquaze. No? Well, girl, I'm going to link the playlist up this way. I done done all the butterflies. To be honest... I actually got requests, requests to do this book review. It's my favorite, child. It's my favorite. The wait is over. Before I dive into the tea, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and thumbs up this video. Because I already know you're going to like it. If you're new here, hey, how you doing? I know this ain't going to be your last time stopping by. And if you coming back, girl, give me some. That's why I fucks with you. I know I can't be the only one who felt like they got strung along when it came to this one. They in this whirlwind, they can't get off this emotional roller coaster. They got played with. They ain't get the answers they was looking for. Because I, I, I was expecting a little more. We could just gonna be honest. We just gonna go ahead and say it. We gonna just speak on the elephant in the room, chat. I know I can't be the only one who felt like, well, wait a minute. So this, that's, this, this, this how it's gonna go. I could have sworn I seen a post that somebody was going to pass away this book or no. I knew Alani wasn't going nowhere though. I knew it wasn't going to be her. And I also think I remember seeing somewhere where it was supposed to be a lot of questions answered, child. And we had been wondering, you know, tea was about to get spilt. Uh, the tea was about to be hot and steamy and brought. But uh, we're going to have to wait again. My granny and I, I love her as a writer. Her man, him as well. I love them both. So I'm okay with reading another book, but goddamn. I'm gonna start by speaking on some things randomly, child. I'm gonna be all over the place, child. So you're gonna wanna stick around and watch the whole damn video. But I'm just gonna throw some things out and say some things that happened throughout the book that kind of sparked my interest, okay? That was just like a ooh, or, or whatever. One of the moments, okay? One of the moments where I was just feeling some type of way. Then we're going to get into the book discussion questions that's at the back of the book. I'm going to try to make this quick because I got to get them kids from school. Morgan Atkins has officially become aggy as hell. I loved her. I always wanted the best from her. I always felt like, you know what, she, you know, she just needs growth. She just needs some therapy. I just was rooting for her and not saying I'm not anymore. I'm just saying that she's really starting to get on my damn nerves. That victim role. I understand that some things done happened. I understand. But everything came back to y'all doing this to me. You doing this to me. It's about me, 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 me. She took no accountability. She takes no accountability. Or at least let it go. You know what I'm saying? Like We done addressed these things over and over again. Messiah part of the problem. He is. But she was really getting on my nerve, girl. When I started reading some of the things, I was just like, I better stop from my damn eyes get stuck up there child of my contact fly somewhere. I personally feel like the problem though lies with Messiah not wanting to bring everything to the forefront. Like nigga, at this point, if you don't go ahead and just tell her what happened and get it over with so that could be something of the past, how the hell you call yourself in therapy and trying to do this and do that and do this and try to be better or make better for your own self and your relationship with her and for your kids, you can't even be 100% honest. All that stringing people alone, he is definitely very much giving Ashley, okay? <laughs> but truthfully, though, let's keep it real. I don't feel like Morgan even has the capacity to accept what the hell he is going to throw at her. When he does decide to lay it all out, just lay it on out, I just feel like she's going to lose her shit. She ain't going to know who, what, when, how, or well, child. We already see that she's a little distraught in things when things happen. So can you imagine all of that stuff? I just don't even feel like she can even handle it. You know how some people say, what you don't know won't hurt you? I feel like that's the case with her. She don't want that tea for real. She say she do, but she ain't ready for that for real. I feel like she's going to resent him. She's going to hate him for the rest of the life. I just feel like it's going to be a lot for her to take. I just, and I don't think she really is. For a very long time, I was team nobody. Nobody. You know, if anything, I was team Morgan. I wanted her to get herself together, get her sh together, find herself, love herself, realize that she deserves the best. She not trapped. She not stuck. The only thing that's causing her to feel stuck is her. But the way a meek made me feel this particular time, I'm almost embarrassed myself. I stayed mutual 
okay throughout this book i was just like yeah but maybe it's best for her to try to make it work with messiah i never really was sent like okay she need to be with me i felt like they were good together in some of those other books they 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 really you know the love that they shared and shit was just real like dreamland like it really was one of the ones that like oh oh well niggas ain't loving me like a mick loving her then baby i don't want it you know i was very much giving that but I never was team anybody, but man, my God, I think I done came to that side of town, child. I absolutely love the sex scenes in Miami. Might I add that I was waiting some chapters for something like this to go down? I'm like, well, wait a minute, hold on. When, when the hell we gonna get a sex pay going? When we gonna get our book porn, our erotic action? And then when it finally struck, I was like, God damn it, there it go. There it go. It was worth the wait. I was so excited to finally pull out that rose child. <laughs> I absolutely love that they had the opportunity to speak with one another. I do love how Amit just opens up and be very honest with her. But he also reassures her, which is what Morgan need a lot of. By saying like, no matter, yes, I might have did that. But don't let nobody like rain on our parade. Don't let nobody throw sand on some sh when you know what we got. What we got. Don't, don't let the outside interference steer you from that. Love that he validated what they got is real. And don't let nobody tell you anything different. If only Messiah could drink a little bit of that water that a meek is drinking. I also love when they introduced a few of the people from the car. Tell them. I was like, oh, they drink no mind. I don't I ain't seen my child in a long time, you know, but it was really refreshing to have them. I love when they cross characters in different boots and bring them on over to somebody else's world and stuff like that. I like that. Girl, I knew a lot of you weren't going no well. I knew it from the ending of that book last. I'm like, oh, hell no. She is not going to allow them to go through all that shit to not be together. For her to finally bring a baby into this world after what happened with the last child. For her to just go ahead and go. No. She ain't gonna do it like that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Did you think her ass was gonna die for real? I'm honestly at a point. We're going back with Messiah and, 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 and Mo, where if they don't work, it's okay. I'll be just fine. Because all history is not good history. I'm ready for them to get to a point where they realize that they are better as parents or they can try their best to be co-parents to these kids. But them actually being together is nothing but toxic energy because they're stuck. Steadily bringing up what happened. They can't seem to get past it. Well, shit, he won't even bring it to the forefront to begin with to even take those steps to get over it. But I just feel like it's nothing but toxic pressure in that relationship. A lot of the times when I be feeling like Morgan is 100% done and she gonna move past Messiah, something always just... Like somebody throws a fishing pole, a bait out there, and her ass get hooked on and, 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 and reeled back up. It's giving every, every time, time I try to leave, leave something keeps pulling me back, back, me back, back telling me I need it, it can we not a lot. I mean, I understand that, but goddamn. At some point, somebody got to be able to see it, right? I personally feel like Messiah really loves Morgan. I just feel like he doesn't know how to love. You can't raise a man, like K. K Michelle said, okay? And, I mean, it's all right to show them how to love you, but you can only do that for so damn long. I can tell you, this is my little language. This is what I like. I can show you. But we've been, she been showing and doing these things for years now. We, we, we assuming that these books are years now they have underneath their belt. I can't keep trying to show you or tell you how to love me. And he's so arrogant and ignorant at times, cocky and all that. So it's like, yeah, no. I don't know. For some reason, I'm feeling like Messiah and that therapist. Hmm. They either eventually are going to start dating or they're going to start fooling around, child. She talk a good game as to, you know, not missing business with pleasurable, child. Oh, 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 sus. Now, what y'all thought about the nurse? The nurse that ethic hired or the live-in or whatever. Did y'all feel that she was trying to get in where she fit in with ethic while he was at his low? I didn't realize that or I didn't start thinking like that until Morgan made her little comments about, yeah, she just trying to play up on him and we got to watch her because, you know, she just trying to blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, oh, oh, she might be right. I think, though, the reason why I never came to or dawned on me or came to my thoughts at all was because in my mind, ethic is, ethic is perfection. 
okay? I just don't seem, it, it just doesn't feel like he has a cheating bone in his body when it comes to Alani. I don't think now Nam person can come through and just, ain't no way. I just don't feel it. Granted now, a lot of the times when men are vulnerable and they in a certain space, that's their key to, to access. But I just feel like he had too many damn opportunities. She did all that running over and over and over again in the ethics series and all these different things that was going on where she acted like she didn't want them and everything for it to come to the point of this easily somebody coming in and fucking they shit up. I just don't even believe that that would even happen. So that's why I didn't done on me. But what you thought? Did you did you think that the girl was there to kind of apply pressure or no? Because Alani damn sure ain't feeling her and neither is morgan i can't even believe that alani held that secret bed with all the trauma she had going on to her uterus and everything and the fact that she risked her life to get this man a whole baby that's deep little child that's deep but my whole thing about that is well if you fuck around and die okay if you fuck around and find out then what would be the point you get what i'm saying you went through all that and then you won't even be able to be here to be able to be with ethic and you're going to be turning over in your grave if another woman come in the picture and raise your baby. So I, I just feel like if, if she would have went to him, he would have definitely said, oh, we got options, alternatives, fair against. I'm not doing that to you. I absolutely hate that Blue allows, allows, that's the key word, Messiah to handle her how she does. And I say allow because a man will only do what you allow. Blue has no boundaries set up for her and Messiah. She tries, but he just stepping over all that shit anyway. He ain't stunting that no way. It's almost giving that energy where people be feeling like they known you for so long that you they think you still that same person that you were years ago. Well, bitch, I'm not. I, I, I'm not even the same person I was last damn night. He don't wanna see that. He's not, he's the type that won't even feel that. These type of women don't stay too long in a place. She was tired of playing in the background. And truth be told, both her and Messiah played in her face. Her being Morgan. I personally don't condone the whole hoes confronting the female instead of confronting the dude about what was going on. Because a lot of the times, they don't be knowing what the hell be going on. They be oblivious to the whole situation. They only go on by what he's saying. And most of the time, it's lies. But in this case, both of them played up under Mo. She knew right damn well what the hell she was doing. I don't know if she was waiting or thinking that eventually Mo would be out of the picture so she could be able to step on in. Like, I'm not really sure what that was all about, her old reason of staying around and doing so much. I know the whole friend thing. We know. We know about the friend thing. And the fact that Messiah the whole time made it seem like Blue was not a goddamn factor. The whole time she was a factor, bitch. You had done got her damn friend. How the hell she ain't no factor? You allowed Blue or gave Blue access to you at your lowest damn fight that they had that altercation out the door at the opening the grand opening of the funeral home was long overdue i wanted mo to drag that ass up and down the damn street because what the hell blue she was talking cash shit which i was a little surprised about i ain't gonna lie you heard Issa talking about girl get your ass on before i let her come over there and dig in your ass you know what else girl i thought was real interesting it was like ooh. On pins and needles, I'm like, ooh, let me go get my popcorn. Was when Saya and Ethic had done got into it outside. I was on the edge of my seat. Because I'm just like, mm, nah, I know he fuck with you, Messiah. But he really fuck with Mo. And truth be told, it's long overdue to get your ass kicked by Ethic. The way you had done slapped that girl up and, and took away her damn hearing, what real old man, a father that's still around, gonna let that slide and still play up in your face? He been deserved that ass. Ethic was playing both sides of the sides of the fence. I really didn't like that whole mutual sh in that situation. I know he wanted to kind of stay up out of that business. Probably was given one of those situations where she ain't going nowhere, so why get in the middle? You know how we all got the family member who be coming talking all that shit about they man, they man, they man, and then end up right with them the next week, so you just stay out of it moving forward. It's giving that. But I just wouldn't let it slide, me as the man, as my, my daughter. I could be cordial with you in the same room, but it would never be like what they still got or what they, whatever the hell they got going on. But it was nice to see him. It was real nice, child, nice to see him. When he was just like, look, don't step over here no more. Don't say nothing. And he looked back at Issa like, bitch, you, don't, you definitely don't want it. Because, bitch, the only reason why you is because, so you definitely don't 
the cancer with the baby. I wasn't expecting that, but Ashley was saying something about, oh, it was symptoms all along, and I'm just like, well, when? Where I was at? I must was hiding up under a rock, because not now time did I ever get any type of whiff of that baby might got cancer as well. Because for me, it was giving kids get sick. For me, she was giving, oh, she was diagnosed with the same disability as her mom had. Like, nothing rung a bell. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you have twins, they always are complete opposite. When you have children, child, one child is not like the other child. It never dawned on me like, oh, she probably sick. Oh, she got the same thing her daddy got. Like, I... And then I, when I read that part, I was just like, so this is what we were waiting for like because i kept reading i don't know about you but i was reading i was reading fast i'm like because i gotta get to what what the hell for the girl to go something's gonna happen i know she ain't gonna leave us with nothing and then when that happened i'm like damn that's messed up but it also gave me i sat and i was just like damn that was what it was that's it that's what I get. <laughs> hmm. did i like that i don't think i really liked that how you felt about it let's go ahead and get into these book club questions chat number one in what ways has Messiah grown? Has he? Are we talking about the same Messiah? Is it okay to just go ahead and bypass that question? In my opinion, he's still very childish. He got a few more mango seasons to go, child. When he ready to show all that tea, then we can consider to start talking about his growth, okay? The only thing that I can give him is that the fact that he's seeking therapy, but then I'm starting to wonder, like, is he continuing the therapy because of the therapy? We're going to come back to that. We're going to spin the block on that one another time. Number two was Messiah wrong to cut Blue off. I don't talked a little bit about Blue earlier, but I just feel like she always plays herself in situations like that with him. She always seemed to get the shorter end of the stick and still stick around. She don't really understand why the hell Morgan gets a certain treatment, that treatment, and she get this treatment. It's going to always be like that. And yet she still remains to be there. She makes herself too accessible to Messiah too often i understand that's her friend boundaries is what's not happening here which i've already said so i'm honestly not surprised at all that he hit her ass with the yo you took it too far and i don't like that you bringing pressure to me and my kids as if me and you ain't even got no damn baby all of that right there to me is just a slap in the face and ain't no way i could continue to give as much as she's giving. I probably won't stop fucking with him completely, but I just will not be in the space or have the capacity to give as much as she's giving and trying to stick around and stay. Like, I, I, I ain't no way. Ain't no way. Should Blue have even confessed her love for Messiah? Actions speak louder than words, child. By telling him this ain't gonna change a damn thing. He still has Morgan on this pedestal and he has Blue here. I think both women can see it differently, right? Because the fact that she stayed around, she had a baby from him, she was there with the cancer, you would think like, well, he personally must really have more feelings with Blue. But it's just the, the way he handles Morgan is completely different. The way he handles Morgan. I ain't gonna get over that whole I fuck Morgan though and, 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 and I make love to Blue. I ain't gonna get over that. I ain't gonna ever get over that. But he just handles them differently. I don't know if it was a great idea, but I also understand maybe why she did it because a lot of times in life, honey, we live with the what ifs. There's been too many times where we probably was dating somebody and talking to somebody that we don't talk to no more. And we probably be going through memory lane like, damn, what if? I wonder what if. I wonder what if. I understood her. I'll say that. Why she would go ahead and say, well, you know what? Let me speak on how I feel so that he will never be able to say that I never told him. And it almost can forcefully put her in a position where she has to move the fuck on. Like in this case. Like him uh, going, telling her that is he, he can't fuck with her no more. Not in that way. Morgan wouldn't know what to do if they seen them two together. Like after that, there will be no more easy access to me. And I just hope that she finds her word. That she moves a little differently with him a lot differently with him it's gonna keep being a repeating cycle and when the, fuck the cycle is gonna stop somebody has to stop and it's gonna have to be her because messiah damn show lane he love his cake and eat it child he loved his cake and he gonna eat it too number four should ethic reveal the truth to alani again child let's take it day by day the answer is no let's take it one step at a time she can't even remember her damn name let alone 
You know what I'm saying? She's trying to fall back in love with you. You really going to drop that bomb on her? That's going to make it even worse or make it even harder for her to even fall for him. So hell no. Hell to the no. Hell to the no. We're going to just pray on it and hope like hell that somehow all of that memory come on back, find its way back miraculously, child. But I don't think that they should even touch that. That should just be left alone. If he going to have any chance the way Alani is moving with him, like I can't even believe that this is the case where she can't remember shit and she is weird with ethic, the way they loved on each other. Like, I just can't even believe that we're starting back. We seem to always start back at square one when it comes to them. It never fails. And then he has to do the chasing again. Why he keep getting put in that situation? We'll never know, I guess, huh? But yeah, hell no, he shouldn't do that. Number six was Aria right to leave Issa. I felt where she was coming from. If she felt like she didn't, she wasn't going to gain anything, she didn't want to be the dope man's wife. She didn't want to go down that path. She wanted much more for herself. I don't think she's wrong. Her reasons for doing it, no, she was not wrong. I don't know if they really going to stay away from each other. But I do feel like she was not wrong for choosing her. If only Morgan can drink from the same drink that Ari is drinking from. Where she's choosing herself and saying, you know what, I got to go do me. It's hard to do. So when a woman do it, I actually commend them. Number seven, did Livy win the war between her and Mo? Yes. If she pregnant for real, hell yeah. Because the only way you can come back from that is if your ass get pregnant too. The question is, do y'all believe she pregnant for real? And if she is, do you really think it's from him? I don't know if she pregnant for real. I'm not really sure. But the way... Ashley like to throw them curveballs, I wouldn't even be surprised. Because it's never really a happily ever after with every storyline, it seems like. So this would be one of those situations where if you want to be with him, you're going to have to go through this. It's almost like giving, if you want to be with me, you got to go with the whole situation with Messiah. Number nine, is Meek wrong for the way he reacted to Livy's pregnancy? Absolutely not. She has whole tendencies, and I mean, why the hell not ask her? Are you sure it's mine? Now, what I did respect is that he didn't say that he wouldn't be there, and that he wouldn't support, and that he wouldn't provide, and so forth. But what he said was, we got to make sure it's mine, child. Ain't shit wrong with that. It ain't like they was exclusive. You know what I'm saying? Then it would be a problem. But the fact he's only covering his own ass, and he's honestly, child, low key between me and you. He don't damn baby from my ass. No way. See how stressed the fuck out he was about it. <laughs> oh, he really don't want that. But I don't think he was wrong at all. A lot of these men wouldn't be in a the situation they are in. If they go ahead and just pull a meek on that situation. That's a topic for another day. Number 10. Do you think Morgan and Meek have a chance at love? Now, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't before. But after that sescapade in Miami, something he did to me this time around in his book, I do believe that they can. Morgan just have to put all that shit to the side and point fingers and play the victim role because she got... Her damn skeletons in the closet as well. And she come with her baggage as well. So if she can go ahead and just kind of suck that shit up. And you know what I'm saying? Just know what it is. Like Meek said, you know what we stand, what it is. That validation that he gave. If she can just suck all that up, that energy up. And remove all that other sh It'll be perfect. Number 11, is Livy's baby a true deal breaker? Or is Morgan wrong for ending things? The way Morgan rolls, the way she set up, the way she set up, I just feel like she's going to make it into a big deal, a huge deal. It's going to be the deal breaker. It's going to be, oh, me, this is why we can't be together. Even though the situation with Messiah and him talking to us, losing his friend and picking her and choosing her and they doing this and that, that you know, the whole thing. We all know what's going on with them. She's still going to play that card of, you fucked up. You wrong. Why you had sex with her? Why you had unprotected sex with her? Why you... It's, all, it's still going to be that point and finger thing. So, for her, it's going to be a deal breaker, I think. I don't know if she's really going to come around because of who she... Livy. Because it's the girl. I don't think she's going to come around to that. I just don't. What you think, though? Well, can Eminem co-parent or will they fall back into their old habits? I feel like at this point, which I mentioned earlier, they need to just co-parent. That's all. Nothing more, nothing less. For the sake of those kids, all that bickering and back and forth, like, if, if I'm tired, then the goddamn day ain't. I know damn well somebody got to be tired in the equation. And like I said, at some point, sometimes I feel like Mo is, but then she gets caught right back in the whirlwind. Like, where I'm at today, 
today in this book. I don't know where I might be tomorrow or next year or whenever the next book come out. But today, I just feel like they just need to co-parent. But I remember being rooting for them to win. I remember it will be nice, but it's going to take a lot of maturity and growth from both ends, for sure. It's going to take a lot of work. It's possible, but it's a lot of work where it may just be easier to just start from scratch, child. Oh, Lord. Sometimes it's just best to let that go. For your sanity. For peace, child. Number 13, is Kadeem valuable to Messiah? In what way? I just feel like Kadeem will kind of like open his eyes to see the broader picture of things. I feel like he can be very small-minded and in his ways. And I feel like that Kadeem kind of like knows how to maneuver with him. You know what I'm saying? Move a body like a snake. She knows how to like not necessarily manipulate, but get into his mental. Allow him to understand and see some things differently than how he's seeing, which is the point of going to therapy. So I do feel like she will. Things that he wouldn't have seen on his own or seen before, the way, his way of thinking will switch and shift because of her. So I think in that case that she will bring value, especially for him to like, if he's fully trying to grow, growth. Remember we talked about growth on question one then he's going to need this. He's going to need this. But he don't need distractions either. And it seems like that she's going to come in and play a whole damn distraction. I can see it now. She she may be overstepping her boundaries sometime and doing a little bit too much for her job title. Like linking up with patients for ice cream. But I think it could be a good thing. And number 14 is Messiah's relate ethics and Messiah's relationship. Ooh, my, my, why the hell is it cut off? Why is it cut off at the bottom? Why is it cut off? It's say something about the relationship. So I'm assuming it's probably saying like, is it ruined or I guess from what happened when it was out the door or whatever the case is, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. And if that is the question, I don't think it's ruined, but I don't know what the question is. <laughs> I just feel like they both was hot tension. They gonna have they talk and then he's gonna be like father, like son. It's, it's, them two is giving Birdman and Lil Wayne. All in all, a great read. I just was looking for more. I was craving more. I ain't going to say I wanted it to end. But then again, maybe I did because I love new. Like, I'm all about new change. You know what I'm saying? Change of scenery and everything. So, I felt like I was excited that this was going to be the ending. Because now I know that she was going to be working on something new and bringing new characters and everything. It's like refreshing when it's new. It just gave that we were going to really be exposed to a lot, a lot, a lot. And I, I, I didn't, I ain't see it. But I know I can't be the only one, right? Come out in them comments and tell me. Did you get what you thought you was going to get out of this read? I remember her mentioning that she was going to do as many as ethics. So I'm assuming the next one is going to be the finale. Do y'all think little baby girl going to die? I hope not. I really hope not. But it may end up like that. Because Messiah didn't. And if that happens, then Lord have mercy. That mean that Eminem is going to be right back on it together again. Because they're going to trauma bond, child. They're going to trauma bond. And we all know what happens when you start trauma bonding, Lord. It, I mean, it helps you get through. Sh but a lot of times, it, it just, it only works for that. As you go through the healing process, and it's going to be back to the toxic Somebody gonna start blaming who, why she had it, why, who ain't, and if you was there, and if you wasn't with me, and if you were, and oh, Lord. And am I the only one that's ready for Bella and Henny's storyline? That's what I'm waiting on. I miss Henny. I hope that this wait was worth it. I'm really hoping that you enjoyed this particular book discussion before you go make sure you thumbs up this video that lets youtube know that this video needs to be in them youtube streets for everybody to see girl share with your book friend share with your book cousin child because i want everybody to come on and jump in them comment sessions and let me know what the hell y'all feel about this story what part was the most shocking what wasn't what you saw coming girl talk to me i talk back if you made it to the end of this video girl go ahead and drop this in the comments down below. That's how I know it's real. I want to thank you so very much for taking the time out to watch my video. Until next time. Later.